Hi everyone, so let's start. Our first step will be making a suitable background. For me, it will be dark blue. You can choose any color matching your reporting theme or dashboard. Then go for insert, shapes. From there, choose an oval shape. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag your mouse and you will get your first circle. Press on your mouse, right click, and then choose Format Shapes. From there, go for No Fill, and for the outline, choose a lighter blue. Now increase the width up to 4 BT, and go for Glue, choose the same color again, and increase the size up to 24. So now we have our first circle ready. So now we will repeat the same steps again. We will go for insert shapes and oval. From there we will make another circle by pressing Ctrl Shift and drag our mouse. Move it to the center of the circle. You can modify the size as well. Then we will go for fill option and we will choose the background color so it looks like sun now and now we will do the same steps again and insert a new circle try to draw it in the center by pressing ctrl and shift move it to the center of the big circle Then go for shape options and from there choose no fill. For the line choose a width of 7. And the compound type to double lines. Go for the color and choose a lighter blue. Then we will start typing our first table. This table will include 25 rows and 3 columns. The first column will be including the serial numbers. The second one will be for the dial. And the last one will be for the speed in kilometer, let's say. So for the dial, I will just refer to it as SP1 up to SP25. And the first 24 rows will be 5% value. And the last one will be 80%. The sum of all will be 200%. Now I will choose the data and go for insert. I will insert a 2D by and you will get your chart ready on your screen. Now remove the chart elements and go for no fill and no line. Now rotate your chart up to 25 degrees. Move it to the center of your speedometer and try to change the size and location until it's at the center of the speedometer. Now we can change it like this, drag it again, increase the size, okay. Okay, so it's at the center. Uh, select the chart and go for options and go for no fill. For the line, choose a light blue. Increase the size or the width up to 1.5, it's okay. And then go for glue. Make the size up to 3. Choose the same color again and make the size up to 3. So now we're ready. Go for the part number 25, double click. And choose no line. 
so our pie now is ready we will repeat the same steps again and we will insert a new oval shape drag it from the middle press ctrl and shift okay and for this circle we will choose the background color which is dark blue remove the line no line I will just expand the size of the circle and now we will start typing a second table this table will include three columns and seven rows it's similar to table number one but the rows is different I will type dial and kilometers and uh, seven serial numbers for the dial I will refer to it as B1 to B7 The value for kilometer here will be 20% Except the last one which will be 80% Now I will highlight the data and go for insert 2D by and you will have your chart ready on your screen I will repeat the same steps. I will remove the chart element, go for no fill, no line. And move it to the middle. And now I will rotate it up to 250 degree. I will remove the fill inside and for the solid line it will be light blue. I will increase the size up to 3. Put it inside the speedometer go for glue choose the first option and increase it up to eight or seven is enough now i will change the size and drag it in the middle just keep on modifying until it's at the center of the circle great Okay. I would prefer to increase the size of the glue up to 33. Make it 40. Now I will insert another shape, an oval shape from the center. Control and shift, drag your mouse. And I will repeat the same steps again. I will choose the background color. Remove the line. Again, we will draw another oval shape. From the middle of our speedometer, we will draw a circle. And then we will go for format shape and choose no line. For the fill option, we will choose a gradient fill. Now again, we will go to the second table we prepared and highlighted and go to insert and insert a donut chart repeat the same steps we did earlier remove the chart element and the chart fill and the chart line drag it to the middle of the speedometer and then go and rotate it up to 250 degree try to change the size and location until it's at the center of the speedometer Okay. Choose the chart now and choose donut explosion and increase it up to 5. For the fill, choose no fill and then go choose a solid line with light blue. Increase the width up to 3 or 2.5 is enough. Okay. Now we will fill the chart with uh, different colors. I will start with uh, green. And the second part will be blue. Again, I will choose blue for the third part and fourth part. The next part will be red. And the last one will be dark red. 
okay now I will just change the donuts explosion up to 10 I think is enough uh, double click on part number 7 and remove the line again change the line to a lighter color or before just did the glue and make the size up to 3 pt I think the line need to be a lighter color okay remove the seven part again no line now we will add the speed text to the speedometer so I just insert a text box remove the solid fill and the line type uh, 0 let's say uh, change the color to white and increase the size up to 20 now for the font type you can choose anyone suitable for you this is an optional okay make it bold and drag it to the speedometer rotate it and arrange it to be at the first part of the speedometer now I will copy the text to the second part rotate it again and change it to 20 again I will copy it to the third part make it 40 and the fourth part make it 60 up to 120 just keep on repeating copy and paste and change the figures inside ok T copy again make it 100 copy again rotate it and make it 120 let's change the text color of 100 and 120 to red color and then we will start the fun part we will make the pointer now I will try to make the pointer in the easiest way you can uh, first of all, I will change one cell color. I will just make it white. I will paste here the speed I want to show on the speedometer. Let's say 85%. Okay. Now the pointer will be a 2D by. This 2D by have three bars. The speed, the pointer part will be 1% thick. And the part before the pointer will be the speed I want which is 85 minus the pointer the pointer thickness which is 1% and the part after the pointer will be 200% minus 84 plus 1 now I'll just draw the shot and it will be easier for you to imagine just wait a little now just highlight the data and go for insert 2d by okay and now I will repeat again clear the elements no fill no line okay so I think we need to increase the pointer I just make it 2% uh, go for the angle and rotate it to 250 degree okay move it to the center of the speedometer now we will remove the third part fill and lines and the first part fill and line and we will have only the pointer okay I will change the pointer color. I will just choose a white line. Just I will try to 
increase the size first and make sure it's in the center of the speedometer then I will double click on the pointer and change the solid line into white and the fill into dark red so now we have the pointer at the middle of the speedometer just make sure it's at the center keep on move it now just try to change the speed and see how it's moving very easy Okay, 70, 0 percent, 66, 87, it's moving well. So I will just insert again an oval shape at the center and add a 3D shape to that shape. It's very nice 3D effect. Okay, you can also change the glue of that shape and uh, the color. Just arrange it the way you want, it's your design. Okay. Now try it again. I think it's working well. Now we will insert a new oval shape to write the speed inside. Just throw it at the bottom part of the speedometer. Okay, for the background, choose dark blue, which is similar to the speedometer background. Remove the line and make it equal to the speed I wrote at the cell RPS. Just arrange the font in, uh, in the middle and make it white color and increase it. Yes, white color, increase the font up to 20. And now I believe our speedometer is ready. Let's just try it again. Perfect. I wish this video was useful for you. If you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.